Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to play Toontown on your tablet. As you can see in this video footage here, I'm playing Toontown on my tablet while in the car on a long car trip. So, let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so I've arrived home now and we're on my desktop computer. But before we begin, I do want to clarify that the experience of playing on your mobile device will by no means be a smooth experience. It won't be bad, but it probably won't be good. It'll be heavily dependent on your internet connection. Also, I'm not so sure that this would work on an Apple device. I've only tested it on Windows computers and Android mobile devices. As long as Chrome Remote Desktop is available for your mobile device or computer, then it should work. To summarize, what we're going to be doing is opening Toontown Rewritten on the computer and casting it to our tablet so that we can play Toontown Rewritten no matter where we are as long as we have an internet connection. Okay, so now the first thing that you're going to want to do is sign into your Google account. Now, if you don't already have one, then you're going to have to create one for the purpose of this tutorial. Now, it's a really easy process. It'll take less than five minutes. So I'm going to sign into my personal account. Now we're signed in. And so now that we're signed into our Google account, we're going to install Chrome Remote Desktop. So, you can do that by, I'm just going to Google it here. And there we go. Let's click on the first thing that comes up. So, in the corner here, I've actually uninstalled Chrome Remote Desktop for this tutorial, so I can show you how to use it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is click Add to Chrome in the corner there. Click Add App. Okay, so it's finished installing and it's taken us to a little app page here. Now it's probably going to take a little longer for you, especially because I cut out most of the installation process, so you can start by clicking on that. Now, you can see here we have uh, two boxes that say get started. Of course, it might give you a hassle on um, logging on to Chrome Remote Desktop, but that's that will really only take you a couple minutes to figure out, especially if you know your way around with computers. And if it still doesn't work, then you can find your own tutorial for it. So, of course, uh, I've already set it up, but if it's the first time that you um, are using Chrome Remote Desktop, which it probably is, it's going to ask you to set a pin. It's going to... Uh, which, keep in mind that that pin is going to be... You're going to have to enter in the pin every time you want to connect to your computer from another device. So, yeah, if I... Unfortunately, I haven't actually found any way to completely reset Chrome Remote Desktop yet, so I won't be able to show you how to do all of that. But I'm sure if you can't figure it out yourself, there will be many, many other tutorials out there for Chrome Remote Desktop and how to set it up. So anyway, this is what it should look like once you've set it up. Of course, you wouldn't see another computer here, but you will see... Uh, you we should be able to see your one desktop here, whatever the name is. Mine is just desktop dash a bunch of numbers because it's relatively new and I haven't renamed it yet. So there. Once you have Chrome Remote Desktop set up, that's really all we have to do for the um, computer-oriented part of this tutorial. At least what you're going to be doing on your desktop. And uh, so next, I will meet you over on the mobile device. So here we are on my Android tablet. And the first thing we're going to want to do is find Chrome Remote Desktop so that we can open it and connect to our computer from our tablet. That'll be from our tablet. So, we're going to open up the Google Play Store and we're going to search for Chrome Remote. And look, it's already suggested it for us. So now, we're going to click Install, of course. Click Accept. Click Open once it's installed. Now it's going to say that there's nothing to connect to, but don't fret. All you have to do is click on the menu up at the corner over here and switch to the account that you used. Sign into your, to the Google account that you used to set up Chrome Remote Desktop on your computer. For me, it's my personal secondary account. And now we can see my two computers that I can connect to. Now we're going to enter in the pin that we set up earlier. So now we can see our desktop from our tablet. The first thing you're going to want to do is zoom out a bit so you can see your full desktop. You see, once it's zoomed in, it follows your mouse around, which really isn't ideal for gameplay. But we can fix this by lowering the resolution on our computer from our tablet. First thing we're going to want to do is open up our start menu, go to settings. Of course, this is on Windows 10, so keep that in mind. It might be a little different for you if you're using another version of Windows. We're going to go to System, 
Now we can see display, click on advanced display settings. And we're going to set the resolution to whatever the resolution of your tablet or mobile device screen is. For me, it's 1200 by 800. Now, if you're not sure what your resolution is, then just go with what I'm going with, 1200 by 800. Or if that doesn't fit your screen perfectly, then just mess around. Try 1280 by 720. Other and other options, of course. So now we're going to click keep changes. And now you're like, oh no, it's all small. So just pinch and zoom in and now out again. And now it fits the screen rather well, if you ask me. So now you should be able to better see the buttons. So now all that you have to do is open up the on-screen keyboard. And keep in mind, I'm doing all of this from my tablet at the moment. So what you're seeing me doing is not actually on my computer. I'm using Chrome Remote Desktop to take control of it. So now we're going to click on Ease of Access. We're going to click the keyboard option. And now we're going to click Turns on the on-screen keyboard. So now we can see our on-screen keyboard. Of course, you might want to pinch and zoom in to your mouse. That way it's slightly easier to resize it to your liking to make it easier to play Toontown Rewritten. Because of course, you're really only going to be looking for the arrow keys to type. I wouldn't recommend, or to, uh, to maneuver yourself, I would not recommend using any other keys, uh, such as for typing to people. It's very difficult. Now we're going to open up the start menu, once again, of course, to launch Toontown and Written. Now also you can minimize the keyboard if you don't need it. So here we have our Toontown and Written launcher, and now all you have to do is log in. Okay, so here we are, we've logged in. Now keep in mind that it's probably, if you've changed your resolution like I told you to, it's probably going to start off extremely huge because it's filling up your previous resolution. So you can fix that by moving your mouse over to the maximize button over here and clicking maximize. Now it fits your current screen. So now you're going to want to click on your main tune. For me, I'm just going to go in under funny quackers. Also, you should be able to hear audio from your tablet as well. I'm going to turn my media down so that it doesn't interrupt the video. Now you should see that you've spawned into Toontown on your tablet. Now you might want to drag that little bubble out of the way, as it's kind of uh, obnoxious to see that while you're playing. I'm going to open up our on-screen keyboard, drag it into the corner a bit. Now I will say though that the, the uh, touch mouse that you use will take some getting used to, and I'm not going to teach you how to use it in this tutorial, as it is a little bit annoying. So now, if you start freaking out and saying, oh no, by holding down the keys on the keyboard with the mouse, it's not making me move. Well, don't worry, that's because you're not clicked into the um, Toontown. So what you're wanting to do is click into the Toontown window, and then use the arrow keys. Now they work. So as you can see, we're running around in Toontown, and keep in mind that this is all on our tablet, so if we were to swipe up a bit, you could probably see here that we are actually in Android itself. So at this point, you're free to do anything you want. As you can see, I'm going to go to my estate and check out my delivery. Now keep in mind that results will vary depending on the strength of your wireless connection and how good the internet is in your area. But for me, it's relatively good, so it seems to be working okay with an acceptable frame rate. Okay, so thanks for watching. I really hope that this tutorial worked out for you. If it did, make sure to comment about it in the comment section below, or if you were having any trouble with it, tell me about the trouble you were having in the comments below, and I'll see if I can help you out. Also, for those wondering, I will be showcasing the Downtown Toontown project in my next video and possibly even letting the public test it out. So if you're interested, then that is something to look forward to and make sure you're subscribed so that you can be updated as soon as I post the video.